What's up, y'all? JT here with a run of the Outcast 8S. I found this area. I didn't know all these boulders was over here, so probably won't be doing too much jumping over there to be done hit one of them boulders and bricks. But uh, I gotta get a feel for the area. It's always good, at least for me, when you're running a car, to try to get a feel for the area before you start going all out and to see what's over. Cause see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, see that right there? That's that's all concrete. <laughs> so I gotta see what's on the other side as well. Hopefully, I won't blast it and jump it into this fence too much. Pretty sure if I do jump it hard, <laughs> stuff like that'll happen. Or if I jump it too hard going towards me, it's gonna run into this fence. But whatever, we'll see. Probably still can't open it up all the way out here, but that'll be a nice little up over there. He's definitely a beast though, y'all. Big old, big old beast. Okay, that seems to be pretty safe over there. Try it this way. You just don't know. I think we're pretty good to Do some small jumps. Kind of goes blind for a second when I get up here in the air. He's getting some good air though. And that's not even full throttle, y'all. So if I go full throttle, I'll probably run into this fence behind me. So that's why I'm taking it easy. Ooh, battery came out too on that one. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're back, no damage. I just didn't um, secure the left battery down completely. And I'm running these big old SMCs out here, so. I would go crazy with these rocks over here, but there's cars over there, you see them. So. <laughs> these big dust clouds up in the air and stuff so probably not the best way to jump Ooh, almost had it <laughs> Probably almost do a backflip. What y'all think? Let's try it.
<laughs> it works somewhat. <laughs> I'll try to do that front flip with it. Tearing up stuff over here. This little jump I'm hitting over here is so uneven, it's not even funny. If it was smooth, it'd be a whole different story. So I am trying to take it through a little bit of durability here, and he's holding up pretty good. I took him to the park the other day um, and had a blast with him out there. You could probably about one more good jump in or two. And I would do this one, but golly, this is all concrete. And yeah, it's got a log right there on the other side. What the heck? We are armor tough, so probably not gonna. Let's see. Boom, boom. <laughs> probably do better off going the other way. We got all this stuff in the way. Yeah. <laughs> That's not going to be the best idea right there. I mean, I really want to cut loose in them rocks, but I'm not going to do it. What I'm trying to do is at the last second do a front flip and that's not working out. So I'm gonna stop doing it. End up tearing my body all up. It's already kind of messed up. I do recommend if you get one of these, you guys see where the paint is kind of fading right here in the front of, before you even drive it, put some double, I put some tape, I put some uh, duct tape on right there. I would just put a piece of tape right here and right here underneath the body to keep that from when you're hitting, from rubbing into the body and eating that paint away. So I think that's probably the only one thing that I issue that I've had or seen so far in my running of it. And that wing is holding up. I landed right on it too. I think it's a little crooked there. Yeah, it's a little bit crooked. Might be the body. Yeah, the body's off. Oh, look at that. Ah! Get this straight real quick. All right, we're good. That's holding up pretty good for a 30 pound truck hitting right on its wing. I mean, I'd expect that to kind of bend and break and bend, but. All right, we're gonna do one more jump. Y'all yeah, know how it is on the last jump, but it should be fine. I'm not gonna blast it and go crazy with it. Yeah. As soon as I say that, look what happens. <laughs> we gotta do one more. So it's definitely going through some pretty, oh shoot, I don't even know what's over there. I don't know what's down that way. Yeah, <laughs> we're definitely uh, doing some hits over here. And it's doing pretty good, it's holding up well. I think my body's a little dinged up in the front though. Yep, right there on the side. It's fine, it'll be all good.
All right, y'all. That's a quick run of the beast. Did want to get this out here and run it real quick. Uh, I've been running it off camera because I've been kind of enjoying it and stuff like that. But when I saw this, I was like, yeah, let me come over here and uh, go ahead and run over here and jump real quick. So anyway, guys, links to the batteries are in the description below. Uh, it's still stocked out the box. I just changed the punch settings to five and it has the 19 tooth pinion gear in it. But the biggest thing is lipos. I got the SMC 90, 9700 milliamp lipos. I got it for this truck. I mean, just to I needed some big capacity batteries to run up in here. So I do recommend if you get... Uh, one of these trucks to try to find the highest milliamp and right now i do recommend those smc so anyway guys stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching